How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm gonna be doing one of the designs that I posted on my website on the priority design section. I'm so excited because I've been wanting to do this design for a while. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. Oh, bro, this song. Mmm. Alas pa volar, sé que nunca tuve. Humo en la cabeza, lo que me sube. Déjame volar por aquella nube. No quiero bajar, no, 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 oh. Let's get it, I'm ready. Yes, sir. Are you nervous, excited? Dude, I am ridiculously stoked. Oh, I'm so like, excited. I've been, you gotta delete like 50 emails from me and you're off your <laughs> web page. Like I was waiting for your website to drop and then everything yeah. froze up. Yes. So I'm like sitting in Costco, like trying to get on for two hours. And then These I, groceries can dude, wait. Dude. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna have you have a seat here. Relax. <laughs> you shave pretty good, to be honest. Dude, I tried. I'm just shaving skin at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I had a new respect for my wife. I was like, you do this like every other day? This is ridiculous. That is hard, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> With this camera, I forgot to click record. <laughs> so they didn't get to see when I placed the stencil. It's fine. I gotta make sure I'm recording this time. Hello, hello, Tess. All right, cool. Cool. <laughs> It got super quiet. I'm over here just like breathing. Hey, hey, hey. I'm trying not to laugh. If I'm upset, I'll fuck you up. <laughs> Perfect. Nice. I love the start of it because that's going to seem like your leg is yeah. like the beginning of something, you know? Yeah. Like it's coming up from inside of your foot up. Yeah. Ah! I was ready. <laughs> Things like this, though, is what make a big difference because I feel like, you know, you don't plan for this. It just yeah. happens. You know, it's kind of yeah. like, we're here, let's do it. So the approach that I'm going to be taking with this piece is starting here with the bottom portion of it. Uh, I just freehanded the bottom portion of the caps because we didn't have enough to cover up the, the tribal here. So what I did, I had a few images with patterns uh, relating to the Egyptian culture. And I said, you know what, I'm gonna grab this specific part of it to make it look like there's a finishing uh, piece to the, the sleeve here. This is gonna be a two day project. So the second day we're gonna be doing the top of it. So yeah, you ready? Let's do it. Oh! <laughs> I've been staring at that ankle tattoo for over two decades. Oh, Ugh. two decades. I know, painful. <laughs> One tribal at a time. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna start doing this a part of the mask here. Uh, the oh. way I was able to uh, capture this kind of details uh, on this area is by using my 14 mile liner. Uh, and at first, my first layer was my medium gray. Then I transferred onto my lightest gray to create my highlight right through the middle. And later on today, I'm gonna add tiny bits of white highlights here just to give it that extra pop. So first thing is first is grabbing your 14 round liner on your medium gray. That way, because it is solid black right next to here, right next to this area. So this is solid black. Putting medium gray right here is gonna make a big difference because you're gonna be able to tell where it begins and where it ends. So first thing is first, I'm gonna create some lines here. Just so I won't lose those lines. Okay, so according to my light source, it, it is hitting the top of this area. So it goes from bright to light to all the way uh, to my solid black here on the bottom. So that means that if my light source is hitting here, 
uh, everything on this area is going to be bright and everything on the bottom is going to be dark. And I'm using the scribble technique where I do X's, where I do dots, I do circles, I do squiggly lines, everything to create that texture. I don't have an ending to it because I do want to add solid black here and it's going to slowly blend into my medium gray. Solid black is always going to overpower medium gray, so that is why I am overlapping that black because it is not going to affect the, the way it's going to look. It is not going to make it lighter. As I get lower on the piece here, my highlights are getting smaller to continue with the same pattern of starting brighter, brighter, not too bright, and then going into my dark tones all the way in the bottom to have that flow and give it that, uh, so it can make sense where the light source is coming from. All right, next, I'm gonna transfer onto my lightest gray. And I'm gonna overlap the areas where I left an open gap in between the medium gray. I'm gonna overlap that. There you go, perfect. So with my solid black, this is the final touch that I'm gonna do to give it that round feeling instead of just being flat. Here you go. So I'm gonna continue doing the same thing across the, every single uh, one of these. So, yeah. Did you learn how to tattoo? <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted to do one of these, can you do it? <laughs> I could probably repeat what you said, that's about it. <laughs> See you tomorrow, my guy. Peace. All right, anyways, let's explain a couple things here. I'm pretty much done with the part of the headdress here. The whole mask is done. Now I'm gonna start doing the, the skull area. And the way I'm gonna start with that, I'm gonna be using my 14 round liner with a voltage of a 5.0, which that's the same voltage I'm gonna be using throughout the whole thing. My first layer is going to be solid black and my reference is showing more of a simple, less texture kind of uh, skull. But what I'm going to do is add a little bit more texture and make it look a little bit more like deteriorated. So first thing I'm going to do here is start here on the bottom. And same technique I, was, I, was, I always use which is a scribble technique. and. I'm creating a shape first. This is going to be my map. This is what's going to let me know where my highlights and my contrast is. And from there, I'm going to start building it. I'm slowly going to start adding more detail just because I feel like I can do a better uh, representation of what this core is supposed to look like if I do it out of my head. And that is because I feel like I've looked at a lot of skulls so I can make the best judgment.
And just like what I did earlier, in between those gaps, I'm going to add my medium gray and my bright or my uh, light grays. I'm kind of losing the eye socket here, so I'm just gonna do a quick little outline. Not, not, nothing solid, just enough so I can see where it is. Perfect. Okay, I like that. Now I'm gonna start transitioning to my medium gray. So this is gonna be my medium gray here. Perfect. Nice, I like it. I like that tone. Nice. And I'm gonna do a little the scribble technique here too. Cause right in between that, I'm gonna add my light grays. Now transition into my lightest gray. And I'm gonna contrast it. I'm gonna add a harsh transition between this black and this gray. That way it, uh, it has more of a sharp effect. I wanna make it look sharp. And in between here too, just enough. What I'm doing here with my light gray is I'm also creating a map and that's, this is gonna let me know how bright can I go on the top before it looks way too dark. So this is me mapping it out and seeing where my light gray goes. And then after that, I'm gonna start building it with my medium gray and give it more dimension. Going back to my medium gray now and start adding a little bit more on this area. Going back to my black, I feel like I need more contrast here on this corner. Perfect, there you go. Exactly what I needed. There you go, I'm gonna continue doing the same, same thing across the whole skull and yeah. I'm just sleepy, man. My leg's good. <laughs> I'm just tired. Your hips. I'm dad tired. My hips are burnt, yeah. Oh. I was good for like the first five hours. And after that five hours, the second like... five hours, I was like, ah, oh, shit, my hips are getting sore. <laughs> <laughs> I got no more hips. Oh, I can't imagine. You're gonna sleep on the other side now. Dude. You gotta sleep tonight on the opposite hip. I know. Balance it out. Yeah, I, you know what? You know what I've noticed about me? Like, off topic, I just... <laughs> <laughs> I realize that I move too much when I do like... You know, like I, I move too much, bro. Like my, my body just moves yeah. too much in general, bro. Like right now, I realized it because I, I feel like I move too harsh right now. I was like, you just gotta move to the other hip. <laughs> and I, I just... Perfect. Let me take a few pictures and I'll send you home. Sounds good. And tomorrow we'll meet again at the same time. Got it. Some bomb breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you should be more excited to get tired, not the food. <laughs> He brought a whole box of cookies.
Dude, we missed out yesterday. <laughs> I didn't make them, but they were fresh made this morning. Yeah. <laughs> My camera, I mean my light, is done for my oh, camera, the one that you gifted me. Oh, that one's been years. Three years with me. Yeah. You never know when it's going to be a Oh my god. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel? Uh, I feel pretty good, man. I feel, like, like, I feel exquisite. <laughs> my, uh, my leg's doing good. I'm starting to shake a little bit because so much blood's yeah, going, so much going blood. to my leg. Mm -hmm. But other than that, like, I feel pretty good. Two days, bro. Two days. Wait, we started at 11. It is now, what time is it, babe? 11. 11. Mm -hmm. I like how he answered. Uh, what time is it, babe? 11. Hey, we're, <laughs> we're close now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. So it's been 12 hours today. 12 hours. Yesterday was... A little over 10. Tattooing. The, yeah, ten, I think... Yeah. It was 9 to... I think 10. So 20, like I'll say 23 hours. Yeah. 23 hours of tattooing. Jesus Lord. Mm-hmm. That's a lot. Ah, boy. Yeah. Good timing for this song. I'm gonna start tattooing you with uh, rhythm. I felt it. <laughs> <laughs> Bim 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 b